Hello everyone, so here we've got a MT-10 and we're going to fit the Shift Dynamics quick shifter to the bike. So we've got it all uh, as it came from the factory there. So I'll just show you where we need to find uh, the plug that we need to plug the quick shifter into and also what we need to do. So basically the steps to fit it are we find up underneath this little rubber boot we find the uh, a little white plug there. Now that's the plug where the quick shifter will plug into. You'll see that it has a blanking grommet there. You just grab the end of that blanking grommet and unplug the little uh, blank. That's got little rubber plugs in it to stop dust and water from getting in there. So we'll just discard that and just leave this little plug hanging out. So we just need to take this Allen key bolt out We'll just do that. So we'll just take that out there. There we are. Um, and we'll just uh, fit up the bracket with the shifter. So I'll just do that now. All right, so we've got the bracket with the little cable and plug on the end. And it just fits in behind the shift rod a bit like that. So we just put that screw back in there and we'll just uh, get the screw up to a little bit of tension on it so we can still move the bracket around. So how this works is we need to make sure that the the switch will be activated by going up to second gear. On the MT-10 as you go up to second gear it pulls the shift rod down which is the opposite to an MT-09. So what you need to do is just listen so that, um, put the bike into second gear. So it's in second gear there now. So that there's a look, quite a bit of tension on the rod and you can hear the shifter click. And adjust this until it does so. So that's about right there. And then we just tighten So don't over tighten it, I uh, don't want to strip the thread, but you just do that. And just test it there, so there's a bit of pressure and it's putting the switch there. So then the other end of this plug goes into the uh, wire in the wiring harness. And that will just clip in like it's the standard, like it's the standard plug. So it's a replacement for that blanking grommet. So that clips in. We just tuck that up underneath into the boot and the excess wiring goes down into this holder there. So basically it looks a little bit like that. You can put a zip tie around those if you want to, although they're not going to go anywhere. We'll just double check that that's working and that's exactly right. Okay, so now we need to program the ECU. Okay, so to program the ECU, now I need to pull up on the shifter to make sure that it clicks up in here so you'll put pressure on it, hold it down for quite some time and turn the ignition to on. Put the ignition on, wait for around 20 seconds or so and then what we should see is come up on the dash um, we should see an icon show up on the dash here that shows uh, quick shift enabled. Hmm. There we go. So you let it go after 20 seconds. You'll see there the little quick shift enables icon is on, and now we're ready to go. So now we'll go test it. All right, so we'll just uh, do the stand test. So we have it on the stand, center stand. We've got the bike in neutral, as you can see. Um, we've fitted up the, sh the shifter bracket and the plug. We've done the ECU uh, configuration, so that's ready to go. So what we'll do is we'll just start the bike. We'll put it in gear and run up through the gears and just 
check that you can hear the ECU interrupt so you'll be able to hear it dropping into gear. Okay, so you would have heard the engine kill very slightly for the gears to drop in. Um, so now it's ready to go, all done. Drop it off the stand and uh, go and take it for a test ride, make sure that it's exactly to your liking and you're all done.